Good Friday morning, everybody. Making it to the end of the week. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Sorry about the camera shine right there. We're trying to trying to fashion a canopy here so that light up there doesn't interfere too much and make it too annoying for everybody watching for right now. We're going to continue again to see a pretty quiet finish to the week and also again into the weekend, but we do have some changes that are taking place south of the area and again continuing to see the potential for some more areas of showers this weekend, but only showers taking place and that's going to be about it. But we do have again enough to watch down to the Gulf of Mexico. So if you have any plans for travel, a lot of people in motion this weekend as the holidays reach their climax and go again into the last week of the year. We could be seeing the problems out there with, again, some travel down to our south. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Thanks for joining us on Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, again, this is our opportunity to explain more about what's going on with the forecast so you can have an idea as to what's happening out there for right now. Again, you can get the full detailed forecast available at WREG.com and slash weather or again you can watch the bottom portion of the screen as the blue bar right there the text scrolls on by so you can see a little bit more about what's going on across much of the area for the rest of the weekend at your leisure seeing what's happening there rest of the day today again should be a lot of cloud cover out there but not seeing anything to worry about in the way of heavy rainfall or even any rainfall for that matter uh, looking at cloud cover across the area winds out of the southeast, fairly light at about maybe five miles per hour or less. If you're checking in from around the Mid-South area or joining us from parts unknown, let us know where you're checking in from. Give us an idea about city state location and then also giving us an idea as to what your weather is like out there. Check that thermometer outside the kitchen window and let us know a little bit more about what's happening. Also stay tuned just a little bit from our social media channels. We'll talk more about your weather pictures coming up here in just a few minutes so stick around for more on that. That. Pretty close to where we should have been yesterday on temperatures, lower 50s on Thursday. Spot on normal on the highs, but a little bit lower on the low temperatures at this point in time. And for the year, no rainfall to pick up, but we are going to finish up the year. It looks like, unless we get a whole bunch more, this is going to be possibly a pretty record-breaking, maybe top 10 year where it comes to rainfall across the Mid-South. We are 20 inches over for the year when it comes to rainfall. Again, that's a decent amount out there, pretty heavy amounts of rain earlier during the year. So we'll see how well that hangs on. A lot of sunshine mixed in with a few clouds around Oxford at the University of Mississippi at this point, looking at temperatures back into around the mid to upper 20s. Calm winds, below, north, below freezing temperatures, and again, pretty high humidity, probably some pretty good frost on the windshields out there. Remember to scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing is just not a good idea, so please don't do that. Temperatures in Olive Branch with a bunch of clouds and some jet contrails passing on through, showing again a lot of moisture passing through that level of the atmosphere right at freezing in Olive Branch thanks to Squawk 11, 11's webcam from that area and 32 degrees reported uh, at the Olive Branch Airport for now. Uh, clouds and contrails around the area of Senatobia from Ranger 2015's a webcam from the Weather Underground camera network as well. And also seeing, again, some sunshine out there mixed in uh, with the blue skies, but going to be seeing more clouds than blue over the next uh, several hours out there. Paula Crawford Tyndall from down into the Pelican State, Louisiana. Thanks a lot for that for right now. Cora Jones, uh, don't want a hot Christmas, need freezing cold. And I'll let Tim know that you said that. Thank you very much for checking on through. Everybody else uh, joining us for this morning, cold but sunny, Casey Wilbanks Putt from Corinth. Thank you very much for that one. And Merry Christmas back to Tina McAllister from Chula, Mississippi. Thanks for checking in there. A couple of people out and about on the golf course around the area of Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis, but not a great deal of golf going on for this morning out there. Checking in with travel and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the weekend. We will update you on what's going on on area roadways and also when it comes to travel at Memphis International Airport. Now, green icon indicates delays of 15 minutes or less. So we're not seeing much of anything out there in the way of precipitation or fog or thunderstorms that could slow things down. So very good news if you're getting an early start on travel. We're also not seeing a lot of delays, at least just yet. Again, as we go into the rest of Friday, volume of travelers increases 
No major storm systems out there really right now. The West Coast seeing a good deal of wind from that storm system. But as of right now, San Francisco not checking in with any problems. Likewise, LAX not showing anything to worry about there for now. But again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more. Slow travel around 240 and Poplar in the northbound lanes of 240 or eastbound heading up toward the flyover. South and westbound lanes going back toward Park and around the uh, area around Quince Avenue overpass there. Also moving along pretty well, but some slowdowns out there into portions of the area, so consider that and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates. Our next storm system is getting organized. It is not much of anything at this point yet, but as this gets out over the Gulf of Mexico, conditions are going to improve, and this is going to deepen in the atmosphere. It's an area of low pressure for right now. Air is swirling around the atmosphere trying to fill this gap up, but as it gets out into the atmosphere, it's going to deepen and broaden and become, because it's going to get a lot deeper in the atmosphere, winds are going to swirl around that trying to fill that gap up a lot faster, and that's going to create some winds as it passes out here. So we could be looking at some very breezy conditions and a lot of rainfall heading our way into the rest of the forecast out there. Catherine Lyons from my uh, former stomping grounds of Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hope everything's good back there on Channel 5 KFSM. Thanks for joining us uh, for this morning. Gulf Coast, Mississippi, Glenda Hoover, welcome to the show. Betty Hatch from Ripley, Mississippi, and Hot Springs, Arkansas. I haven't been there for a while. Johanna Sagebart, Sagebart, hope I'm saying that correctly. And uh, Somerville, Tennessee, April Renee Symes. Thanks for joining us there. Uh, Storm Tracker 3S Radar. Not much to report this morning, but we will see more chances of rain later on. Brisk across the Mid-South, cold with temperatures back into the mid to upper 20s. These are the coldest numbers we could find on WeatherNet 3 early on Friday. Winds, fortunately, are fairly light to calm, so not much of a wind chill, but still pretty chilly out there when those winds pick up. All right, running the numbers into later on this morning. Numbers, again, will be increasing, but it's going to be a slow process through about the 40s around lunchtime today with more cloud cover making its way on through the area. And that'll continue and become more overcast as we go toward dinner time tonight and around rush hour home. Much of the area will be seeing cloud cover. We're not detecting anything in the way of rain. Now, there may be some moisture several thousand feet up, but down toward the surface, it is very dry. So if anything does manage to fall down from that, more than likely it's going to evaporate. Portions of the area that have the highest amount of moisture, North Mississippi, the Tennessee River Valley, Southeast Arkansas, you might pick up a raindrop or two, a speckle of rain on the windshield, but really not seeing much more than that at this point. Going into the weekend, the cloud cover fractures a little bit. We may even see a bit of a sunrise tomorrow morning before the clouds really set in and the chances of rainfall really make their way into the forecast. So stay tuned to daybreak into the weekend and we'll keep you updated. Excuse me on all of that. Rest of the day today, again, increasing clouds are going to be the watchword for today, but not seeing anything in the way of precipitation, which is definitely good news for travelers out there. Uh, school kids have a half day, some of them, not all of them, but some half school schedules out there. So watch out for the school kids around midday and those school buses at times where you may not be expecting them. Lower 50s for highs today as the clouds increase across the area. We'll be looking for mostly cloudy skies, most of Saturday, if you have outdoor plans, again, not seeing a major problem there. But we will see the potential of some showers developing into the afternoon and evening hours. And again, not great chances, but still possible into and around the area for right now. Looking toward the rest of the forecast through the weekend, the last day of autumn is Saturday. The official arrival of winter will be at 1121 Saturday night. So the first full day of winter also arrives with the first day of Hanukkah celebrations, and a very happy holiday to those of you who are celebrating that. Looking again at scattered showers around the area throughout the rest of Sunday, so Saturday early will be your best bet for outdoor activities, raking leaves that have fallen or whatever else you've got going on. Uh, the wind's picking up a little bit, and uh, seeing that mild trend continuing uh, out across the area for right now. Uh, Annette Bright, cold weather on the way. Not really, actually, from what we're looking at right now. That's a nice thought, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. And take a look at some of these numbers, and you'll see that we've got some very mild conditions out there. 
right on in through Christmas. Temperatures will be in the mid-60s on Christmas Day, back into around way above normal, some 10 to 12 degrees above normal for this time of the year. For parts of the Mid-South, uh, especially south of I-40 on Christmas, we can see temperatures close to 70 on Christmas Day. So if anybody out there is still wishing, praying, and hoping for a white Christmas, first of all, statistically, we don't have much of a chance of that, like less than 10% on annual average. This is just not an area of the country that picks up that much snow at this time of the year, being this close to the tropics. And secondly, with these temperatures out there, not seeing anything in the way of hope for a white Christmas or even a snowflake this time around for right now at this point in time. So for the rest of the forecast, again, mild, but we will see a bit of a cool down taking place in the days after Christmas. So with the family heading out for dinner and a show by Thursday into Friday, we will see the potential of some minor showers. But beyond that, not really too much out there for them. And then through the last weekend of 2019, temperatures remain pretty stable in the mid-50s to the lower 60s. So we've got, again, some fairly mild conditions out there all the way on through the forecast. We could be dropping into the, again, the 30s, the 20s. We can get some major cold waves coming through here. But this time around for the holidays and the finish of 2019, it looks pretty mild across the area, all things considered. So not seeing anything in the way of problems out there for Arctic blast. Again, the chance of rainfall coming up Thursday, Friday, too warm for anything but rain and not strong enough for anything involving thunderstorms. So again, some good news on that for right now. All right, the storm system that we're going to be watching is going to be making its way from the desert southwest Mexico into the Gulf as we get into the weekend. So the farther down toward the Gulf you are, uh, Corpus Christi, Houston, Galveston, all the way over to Florida, along the Gulf Coast. That's where you're going to see the best chance of rainfall. As this storm begins to deepen in the atmosphere, we'll see more moisture coming up from the tropics. And that means more rainfall chances for us here in the Mid-South area. But as we go into late Sunday and around the area of early Monday, we start to see the drier weather taking over. So the chances of rain limited to Sunday only, and that's going to be about it. Now, as we get into the forecast toward Monday night, that storm system really ramps up, heading over Florida. And if you're heading up the East Coast from, say, Savannah all the way up to D.C., Baltimore, even around New York, I would watch this thing very carefully to see if it's going to cause any traffic delays out there. Again, this could be a problem out across the southeast United States. This is going to be very windy. And again, it could be the possibility of some thunderstorms out there maybe even some stronger weather, although we're not showing any signs of severe weather uh, from this storm system coming on through. So how much rainfall are we talking about? For the Mid-South area, the lighter green colors, again, showing maybe about an inch or two at maximum. So we're not talking about flash flooding, but we are talking about some pretty soaking conditions around portions of central Florida and then also back up into the southeastern United States. So from the Mississippi Delta over to the Carolinas, could be looking at around maybe 5 to 10 inches of rainfall into the weekend and early parts of Monday. And as this thing heads up the coast, again, anything north of Florida could be looking at some soggy, slow traveling conditions. So that could be a bit of a problem there. Stay tuned to News Channel 3. Again, we'll keep you updated on what we're looking for <clears throat> Excuse me, over the course through the weekend and beyond. We'll get you on your way safely and let you know what's going on out there. James R. Gulledge spotting a robin in the fairly mild conditions around Humboldt. Thank you very much uh, for getting those pictures into us there. Very prolific photographer, Mr. Gulledge. Thank you very much for that one. Tank Boy 925 thanks for the view of the wispy clouds around Moonrise in Midtown a couple of days ago. B. Nassel, a nice view from Mr. Bob around sunrise this morning. So thank you very much for that one. And from Memphis resident, uh, violinist, musician extraordinaire, and all-around nice guy from his home in East Memphis with his wife, Bethany, and their two daughters, friends of the Onik family. A nice view of the snow coming down from earlier this week, and the two daughters 
uh, very excited about what was going on there. So thank you to Mr. Chu for that and also for the uh, CD that he sent along of uh, some of the best Christmas music out there from him and his violin. Do appreciate that very much. Uh, more information on this and other deposits from anybody else out there that has the pictures, we'd love to show them on social media and on News Channel 3 on air. Can't show them if you don't send them, so again, please drop them to us, and we'd love to see them there. Sign up for Weather Call as well before the next round of severe weather hits, which isn't anytime soon, but it's best to do it now before, again, everything happens. So Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens your area. Also, the winter weather outlook has been posted by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. If you'd like to see it and read through it, go to wreg.com slash weather Scroll down beneath the forecast, and we'll have tons to talk about there. Also, don't forget to download on your phone or tablet the News Channel 3 weather app. Tons of weather information available to you. More information at wreg.com slash weather there. And, of course, you can pick up our entire forecast. A lot of what we just talked about here, it's all available on our main website to keep you updated on what's going on. Also, can catch it on mobile devices as well, so we can keep you updated as to what's happening. Again, for today, mainly just cloud cover across the Mid-South, but also expecting those rain chances into the weekend as that storm system slides by the area and heads very close to us, but not seeing anything in the way of major precipitation, not seeing any snow, not seeing any thunderstorms, just rain. So prepare for that as we go from Saturday night into and around Sunday and Definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as we'll keep you advised on all that. Thank you to everybody for tuning in for this morning. I'll have updates on the forecast coming up at 825, 855, News Channel 3 live at 9, News Channel 3 at noon. And Tim Simpson has your complete forecast that will be starting tonight on News Channel 3 first at 4 to get you on your way for your holiday preparations as we go into the upcoming last few days of 2019. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you advised as to what's going on with Mid-South weather and traffic.